Well, girls, <laughs> what the heck? Here's to men. They're insensitive. They're maddening. <laughs> they're insecure and they're filthy. <laughs> but somehow, for some reason, God, do we enjoy having them around. <laughs> <laughs> Two, Two men. men. Oh. Oh. This was not my choice. You're not my ideal bedmate either. <laughs> Whatever. Craig, ah, uh, I miss you. Thank you for Listen, um, good luck tomorrow. I'm so happy I can share this day with you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm really glad you're here. Oh, you're my sister. Where else would I be? Thanks. Well, good night. Good night. Is there anything else you need before we go to sleep? No. Thanks. You have done enough already. Oh, it's been fun. You know, I know we've never been that close, but it's been a real honor for me to be a part of this. The honor is mine. Any big plans for tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, there's not much to do around here, so I thought I'd go and get married. Oh, that'll kill the morning. <laughs> oh, honey, I am so happy for you. Seems like this time you and Jack finally got it right. I've never had so many good things happen to me at once. I had a healthy baby. Made peace with my sister. Jack and I are getting married. And you came all the way here just to share that with me. There's so much I want to say to you. Mm. You're sweetie, but you know what? Now's not the time. This is your time. And I want you to enjoy every minute of it. Thank you. I already am. Get some sleep. I love you so much. Mm -hmm. the bride before the wedding. Oh, cuz, don't tell me you of all people are standing on tradition. Oh, Molly, I'm getting married in a barn to the man who delivered my, my daughter. And the midwife was supposed to deliver my daughter is officiating. I'll take all the tradition I could get. Thank you. It's a little late for that, don't you think? I mean, you already blew the big one. Having babies after you get married. Sweetie, what I mean is that <laughs> traditions just aren't that important. They are, they are. They carry people through uncertain times. And these are very uncertain times, Molly. So yes, I'll take it. I'll take something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. I'll take all of it. I will blindly follow other people's footsteps all the way to the altar. And when I get there, I want to open my eyes and find myself married to Jack. And you will. Sweetie, nothing's going to change that. Um. saying except sage what if the dna tests prove that jack is not her father so what if they do what's jack gonna do walk out on you and your children oh honey if you even think that that is a remote possibility then you have to put this wedding on hold i am marrying jack snyder tonight at moonrise and, and that's final but the DNA results aren't in. I don't care. 
Carly, I'm just saying that maybe you should wait, okay? If you're really serious about Jack walking, if Mike turns out to be Sage's daddy, and why put Parker through yet another breakup? Even if Jack is not Sage's biological father, he is part of his family, he is committed to us, and, and nothing is going to change that. Do you really believe that? Yes. Yes. I really do. Well, then put on your wedding dress because you, girlfriend, are getting married. You tricked me. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime. Okay. Now, over here in this garment bag, I have two things. One is for me to wear. And the other is something I'm hoping you will wear. This is the veil you wore when you married Jake. Yeah. Marriage brought Jake and me so much happiness, honey, and I'm hoping it's going to do the same thing for you and Jack. I wish Jake were here with us. He is. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, come on. I wouldn't miss seeing my cousin get married for the world. I just want to say this to you one more time. And then I won't say it again. I'm sorry. For what happened with, with me and Mike that night. We didn't plan it, you know. It's just a bunch of bad things that turned into worse things. Yeah, that are over, okay? The pain has passed. And what's left is what's always left. You and me. No matter how many mistakes we make, we'll always be family. And I will always love you. <laughs> I missed you. God, I missed you. I missed you. Okay, okay, no crying. <laughs> I refuse to have puffy swollen eyes at your wedding. Oh, my yeah. wedding. My wedding. I still have to find a bouquet and feed Sage and get dressed. And work on traditions, right? Right. Hey, the veil. Old and borrowed. It could be a twofer. Yeah. <laughs> and I will take very good care of it. In case Abigail wants to use it someday. Um, or you. No. I am done with marriage. Marriage? Or Mike? Well, I mean, right now it's pretty much the same thing. It's not like I can force him to put on a monkey suit and buy me a ring, right? I don't know. Nobody asked him to call you and talk you into coming to Muscle Shell, Montana for my wedding. He thought of that all on his lonesome. Oh, no. There is nothing lonesome when it comes to Mike Kaznoff, Carly. Do you know the first thing I saw when I got here? Mike and Katie sharing his sleeping bag. Yeah. No, no, no. That was purely practical. You know how cold it gets here? Trust me. Katie Frazier was burned so badly by Simon, she's not going to want to get close to anybody for a very long time. Was he single woman searching for a gorgeous bachelor? I'm sorry, I was looking for Mike. Mike's not here. Oh, well, I'm gonna go look for him. No, no, no. Come on in. Show us your dress. Oh, oh, it's nothing. I got it at the general store. Hmm. I think they were selling it as a skirt, but I kind of made it into a dress. Oh, I better get going. No, no, no. Not until you show us what's behind your back. It's a surprise. For Mike? For you. Oh. I found them growing by the road. I think they're called bachelor buttons. Mm. Oh. Petite, single female looking for a bachelor. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was just looking for Mike. I thought he might have some strings so I could make a proper bridal bouquet. No, don't worry about that. I took loads of ribbon off Mrs. Mayer's dress. So I'm going to go put these in some water, all right? Hey, Molly, we got something blue. That's right. We do. I'll add it to Old and Borrowed. Oh, what do you have for Old and Borrowed? I wore it when I got married to Jake. Oh, it's beautiful. You know, last night when you were talking about your honeymoon, I felt really sad for you. Jake was a wonderful guy. Yes, he was. And it's really hard to find a guy like that. Yeah, you're not kidding. I thought I had that with Simon for sure, but I'm glad you did. I know it probably hurts not to have him around, but at least you had the real thing. <laughs>